Welcome to Calming Harp, the sounds of David's Psalms. I'm glad you've joined us for this brief moment we share together. I will be playing some of the music that has been brought out of the Psalms. My name is Steve Reese. I play the harp. And over the last several years, I've been bringing the sounds of David's Psalms into recordings. You can find a lot of my music on my website, www.calmingharp.com. I have CDs available and MP3s. And you can go to YouTube. If you go to YouTube and then type in Peregrinati, P-E-R-E-G-R-I-N-N-A-T-T-I, you will find hours of beautiful harp music that you can just play in the background and be calmed with the music that David may have played for his sheep at one time or another. So as we share this half hour, join me and enjoy the sounds of David's harp. Well, welcome back. This is a, another Sabbath morning. We're here in Tennessee this week we're with uh, Tab and Barbara Bragg in their fellowship. We'll be presenting a program on the journey through the tabernacle. And um, if any of you would like to contact us about having that presented with your group, please let us know. Um, we're going to be busy pretty much through July, but after that into the fall, we'll have some openings. So uh, if you want to contact us, either through um, our website or phone us, uh, whatever, uh, you can get that phone number on the website as well. Today I was just um, kind of a general praise for the Father. I continue to read the news items and continue to have to remind myself that <laughs> my Heavenly Father is in control and more and more I find myself having to refocus my thoughts towards Him and not let the cares of this world choke out. You remember the parable that Yeshua gave about the the um, seeds that were sown and some fell on the path and never even grew because the birds ate them. And then some of them sprout up early but they had shallow roots and so they died pretty quickly. Um, some sprouted up and grew really well but weeds grew up around them and choked them out and he said that that represented the cares of this life. And then as the others were grew up they actually produced fruit. And so I was just thinking about how necessary it is for myself to focus on my Heavenly Father. And so that kind of brought me to the, to the Psalm, Psalm 42. As the deer longs for the water stream, so being my being longs for you, O oh, my fa Heavenly Father, my Elohim. My being thirsts for Elohim, for the living El, who shall I enter in to appear before? Or when will I enter in to appear before Yahweh? My tears have been my food all day and night, while they say to me all day, Where is your God? And we hear that said quite frequently, don't we? These I remember and pour out my being within me, for I used to pass along with the throne. I went with them to the house of my God, my Elohim, with the voice of joy and praise, a multitude celebrating a festival. Why are you so depressed, O my being, my soul, and why are you restless within me? Wait for Elohim, for Yahweh, my God, my Heavenly Father, for I shall yet thank Him for the deliverance of His face. 
O oh, my Elohim, my being is depressed within me. Therefore, I remember you from the land of the, of the Yarden, the Jordan, and from the heights of Mount Hermon, from Mount Mitzar. Deep calls to deep at the sound of your waterfalls. All of your waves and breakers passed over me. By day, Yahweh commands me his loving commitment, and by night, his song is with me. A prayer to the God of my life. I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? With murderers and murder in my bones, my enemies have reproached me, while they say to me all day long, where is your God? Why are you depressed, O my soul? And why are you restless within me? Wait for Elohim, for I shall yet thank him, the deliverance of my face and my Elohim. Deliverance is coming. He has it in his hands. He's not up on the balcony, biting his nails, wondering how it's going to turn out, as I've said before. But he is coaxing the nations to come and give it their best shot. It says he laughs at the nations. And I would say at the uh, elite, the, those who think that they're in charge. So I'm going to play as the deer pants for the water and just uh, sit back and enjoy this music and then we'll come back and take a look at another psalm.
The next psalm I would like to take us to is Psalm 105. And I, I'm thinking of it because it's, well, let me read it. Give thanks to you, Yahweh. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Sing to him. Sing praise to him. Speak of all his wonders. Make your boast in his set-apart name. Let the hearts rejoice of those seeking Yahweh. Seek Yahweh and his strength. Seek his face always. Remember his wonders which he has done, his miracles and the right rulings of his mouth. O seed of Abraham, his servant, children of Yaakov, his chosen ones. He is Yahweh our Elohim. His right rulings are in all the earth. He has remembered his covenant forever, the word he commanded for a thousand generations. That's a long time, by the way. The covenant he made with Abraham and his oath with Isaac, with Isaac, and established it with Yaakov for a law to Israel, an everlasting covenant, saying to you, I give the land of Canaan, the portion of your inheritance, when they were but few in number, few indeed, and sojourners in it. And they went about from one nation to another, from one reign to another people, and he allowed no one to oppose them and he reproved the sovereigns for their sake. And he said, do not touch my anointed ones and do my prophets no evil. And it goes on, but I'm just gonna stop there because what my thoughts were was, he's saying seek, that means there's an action on our part. We have to, to put ourselves into that place where we are, are going after. It's kind of, a friend of mine said, it's kind of like when you're out hunting. I've, I've hunt with a camera most of the time. I've not hunted with a gun, um, but many of my friends do. And if you're going to go get that deer or get a picture of it, you have to follow the trail. And that means you have to do put some effort out there and you have to seek it. You have to be looking for it. You have to be concentrating on looking for signs that it's near or that it's gone this way. And then you have to have to follow it and go there and, and get after it. And every place you go, you're getting closer and closer and closer to it. And that's a lot what we're being called to do here, to seek him. And then we're told to make, to praise him, to boast in his name and rejoice in him. So as we see things around us that are not going so good, he's saying, praise me anyway. You know, Paul says, rejoice. And again, I say rejoice because it doesn't matter what's happening. What matters is that he is in charge. So this is a little song, Seek First the Kingdom of God and his righteousness.
The next psalm I would like to go to is found in Psalm 119. It starts with verse 105. Interesting that Psalm 119 is uh, part of what helped me be able to figure out what notes go to which letters of the Hebrew alphabet. And Psalm 119 happens to be the letter Nun, which interestingly is um, in the concept of that letter is like a fish in the water that when you come up on it, it stirs and swims and it, and it stands for life or, or creating life. And it's interesting that that word is used for these next eight verses that I'm going to read. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have sworn and I confirm to guard your righteous right rulings. I have been afflicted very much, O Yahweh. Revive me, revive me, bring me to life according to your word. Please accept the voluntary offerings of my mouth, O Yahweh, and teach me your right rulings. My life, once again, life is in your hands continually, and your Torah I have not forgotten. The wrong have laid a snare for me, but I have not strayed from your orders. Your witness are my inheritance forever, for they are the joy of my heart. I have inclined my heart to do your laws forever to the end. And that brings life. And that lamp unto my feet, your word, as we are seeing the chaos that is ever increasing around us, we're being told here by David in this psalm that his word is what we can rely on. It's not going to change. It's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. We don't have to look for something else. This is everything we need has been placed within his word. And I just want to challenge you today to keep that as a lamp to your feet because as we use that light to walk by, we will not go astray. And so I just want to leave that word with you. So let's listen to this little song, Thy Word is a Lamp Unto My Feet. The final psalm that I'm going to share with you today is uh, comes out of Psalm 32. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven forever, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man to whom Yahweh imputes no crookedness, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones became old through my groaning all the day. For the day and night your hand was heavy upon me, your, my sap was turned into the droughts of summer. Selah. Stop and think about that. I acknowledge my sin to you and my crookedness I did not hide. I have said, I confess my transgressions to Yahweh and you forgave the crookedness of my sin. Selah. Once again, stop and think about that. Therefore, let every loving, lovingly committed one pray to you while you might be found. Even in a flood of great waters, they would not 
reach you. And this is the verse I really like, and it's what the music I'm going to play. You are my hiding place. You preserve me from distress. You surround me with songs of deliverance. Once again, Selah, stop and think about that. Let me instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go. Let me counsel my eye be on you. Do not be like the horse, like the mule, with no understanding, with bit and bridle, else they do not come near you. Many are the sorrows of the wrong, but as for those who trust in Yahweh, loving commitment surrounds them. Be glad in Yahweh and exalt, you righteous, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. What a promise that he has given us. So I'm going to play this song, You Are My Hiding Place. So those are the Psalms I wanted to share with you this morning. And as you may have been able to tell by now, I, the theme of this podcast is continuing to keep your eyes on our Heavenly Father, no matter what's going on. It seems like I keep saying the same thing every week, but you know what? I think we need to be remind, <laughs> reminded of that every week. Um, I was just looking at so many of the things that uh, are on the news this past week. And it seems to me like people are just getting crazier and crazier. They're getting bolder and bolder. They're getting more and more focused on coming against those who want to follow what our Heavenly Father has given us as a guideline to walk out in this life for blessing and life and not cursing and death. Remember at the end of Deuteronomy, Father said, if you will walk in my ways and follow my counsel, my precepts, my laws and my, my statutes, even if they don't make any sense to you, <laughs> Sometimes there's just not a scientific reason why we should be doing what he says we should do. But he has said, he's given it to us because it has, he knows why he's told us these things. And he knows it's for our good. He's not just up there trying to make things hard for us just to see if we do it. He's not capricious, as has been the charge by many over the ages, even starting with Hasatan in the beginning. He really wants us to have life 
more abundantly. Yeshua said, I have come to give you life, to give it to you more abundantly. And if we will walk in his ways, if we will keep his precepts, if his word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path, if he is our hiding place, then all of these things that are taking place in the world around us do not need to affect us. So I just want to leave you with that word today. Stay strong. Rock chasak. Be strong, be courageous, and walk out in the path that he's laid before us. Blessings in your week. So I hope you've enjoyed our time together. Stay tuned, as I say. A little pun. I have many more ta- songs to share with you. I have more to share about how this all comes together. And I pray that you will share and help people, especially those you see stressed, especially in these times that we're going through. Bring people to this calming and this peace and this rest that this beautiful music of the Psalms of David brings to each of our lives. Thank you for listening. Hope to see you next week. Many, many blessings to you all today.